Okay, if you watch the uh, last video I shot earlier, it had the uh, axle pieces all broke down, the bosses that still needed to be welded on the rack mount, the rack mount needed to be trimmed, and I said I'd, write, I'd uh, load up another one once I got everything done. So what we've done is we've got the bosses are welded on now. The uh, counter bore that was into the face of that 3 8 plate worked excellent. Welded them on and everything just bolted right together. So good, good uh, procedure when you got to have something where it can't move is to make a, a, a recess where it can sit in there and it'll hold it so that when it can't pull when it's welded. So what we got, uh, we got the Speedway uh, disc brake kit kind of. We've got the brackets and I'm using Speedway IMCA uh, calipers that I don't have on it yet but then I'm using instead of the modified Chevelle rotors with uh, the Ford bolt pattern I'm using uh, Plymouth Bellari around 1980 calipers or rotors that are drilled and slotted in order to use them with these wheels that I'm going to use on that truck, they're 16 by 7 Ford Crown Victoria police car wheels off of a, like a 98 to 2002 uh, police interceptor. They're 16 by 7 inch wheels. I like the style of them, I like the holes in them, uh, and they're going to be running with a, just a spider cap in the center. But in order to put them wheels on, these hubs, the the rotor hub was about 50, 60 thousandths larger in diameter and the wheel would not slide all the way on. So we machined off that uh, to where the uh, wheel will fit on and uh, this works real well. Uh, one of the advantages of this, there these hubs or, or rotors are a little bit taller than the Chevelle so if you buy the uh, Speedway style kit it's got a thick spacer about a quarter inch to three eighths inch spacer that goes on the outer bearing uh, to take up the slack because you don't have enough threads on the spindle with this one I mean it comes out it's the perfect perfect length so uh, I remembered these from back in the 90s building uh, street rod before uh, that they were using the Volari rotors on them uh, and I ran into the same problem trying to use the Ford wheels because the the boss on the back of the rotor wouldn't allow the wheel to go on all the way so we've got that figured out now so give you a little shot of everything here how everything lines up it uh, everything lines up very nice it should steer very well going to be using a Borgson uh, telescoping shaft to attach it to the column. I've already had it uh, underneath the truck and ran it through the full travel and uh, it telescopes in and out about three and a half inches in a little over five inches of suspension travel. So this is kind of the way it's going to sit uh, minus the calipers minus the springs. Uh, the next time I'll shoot this, what we're going to do is we're going to have to heat the spring perches and bend them out because they're they're angled in so the springs will sit flat because we're going to run the springs are going to be uh, in line with the chassis. It's, it's not going to be the buggy spring style anymore. So uh, when I get a little further along, I'll shoot another video and uh, hope you enjoy. Thanks. Goodbye.